Hey everyone, we are back from the vet. Um, so I thought I'd come on and give you guys an update on Max. And I'm sorry if you hear some noises. My neighbor is running a saw or something, so I apologize. Um, so the things we find we found out that it wasn't was it's nothing to do with his knee, which that was the number one thing she thought it was when she saw the video. Not the knee, not the joints. They don't believe it's a muscle strain or anything like that. They think possibly he may have had another spinal stroke or, let me back up here so I can get him in frame. I'm zoomed in on you, Max. Or could it possibly be nerve damage due to, or a slip disc, which is causing nerve damage, I believe. Basically, um, they gave us some gabapentin, which I don't know if I'm going to give to him. And she said it was fine if I didn't because I don't believe he's in pain. But they did also prescribe him, I think it's called Prevacox, an anti-inflammatory. I am going to start him on that tonight. He needs to have it with food. So I'm, um, he needs to have it with food. So I'm going to um, give it to him at dinner time, which is at 7. Um, um, and we're going to give it a week and see how the anti-inflammatory works. See if we see an improvement. They don't really want him jumping too much off the couches, running, um, stuff like that. Um, so we're going to try that for a week. And if we don't see much improvement, we're probably going to have to go to the animal surgical center, our favorite place, right guys? Our favorite place <laughs> and have an MRI done, which we just called them, um, to see how fast they could get him in if we decide to do that. Um, and they said they weren't doing any this week, but next week, if we decided that we want to get an MRI done, that we could, that we could get them in, they could get them in pretty fast to get one done. And if we do do that, they told us that could cost anywhere from uh, twelve hundred to two thousand dollars. Yes. So I'm hoping we see some signs of improvement with this anti-inflammatory. But we just. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Let's see if I walk away if he stops. <laughs> uh, no, he's just going to follow me. You're just going to follow me. Yes, you are. So, um, yeah, so that's what we found out. That, um, not sure exactly what happened. They gave us some ideas what they think. Um, and that if it doesn't get better within the week, she said a week or two, but I think if uh, by next Monday, um, if he's not showing some improvement and he's still having what I, would you say? <laughs> Mickey, give me that ball. Give me that ball. I'm gonna put it on the chair for a minute so I can talk. Oops, it just fell. Let me put this on the chair for a minute. I'm gonna put it behind my back. I'm gonna sit down. Um, <laughs> oh, that we're going to have, so if we don't see any improvement within the week, we're going to have to get an MRI done, which that's probably what's going to happen. Our luck, you know, probably what's going to happen. So, but we got to do what we got to do. Yes, we do. Um, but like I showed her, I said, he, he does not seem in pain at all. As you guys saw in the video yesterday, him stretching his legs and trying to, rolling on his back and I think if he had some disc disease going on or stuff like that pain he wouldn't be doing that so I just don't know I just don't know um it's it's frustrating <laughs> it's frustrating and uh and she kept talking about his limp and I said but he's had that limp he's had that limp since um last time so you really can't go by that because his leg never fully recovered from last time so I don't know I guess it's just a wait and see wait and see for the next week would you guys stop sniffing his butt stop sniffing his butt Magnum he's got smells on him from the vet all the other dog smells so they've been sniffing him up and down yeah so um Anyways, I just wanted to get on and let you guys know what we found out, which really wasn't too much, but I'm glad it, it's not a knee problem. 
nothing's broke, no bone irregularity. She didn't do any x-rays because she didn't really think. Magnum! <laughs> Leave him alone! She really didn't think they would find anything really out with it. She didn't believe it was anything like that. The knee, the joints, um, arthritis. So, yeah. So, if you guys have any other questions or if I'm just rambling, because I probably am, because I'm just... I'm just kind of frustrated and not knowing exactly what's going on. And Yeah, anyways, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. And I'm sorry if you've emailed me um, or sent me a message on Facebook and I haven't gotten to you yet. I've just been, with all this stress going on and now this, I'm just a little overwhelmed right now. So please be patient with me. I know that I will get to answering them. Um, I've just got a lot on my mind right now. So, all right, guys. I hope everybody's having a good day. Just wanted to give you that update. And um, we'll let you know. I'll let you know throughout the week how he's doing um, with the medication for sure. And I'll for sure let you know um, if we're taking him to get an MRI next week or not. So, all right, guys. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye. So before I end the video, I wanted to share with you what I did yesterday uh, for Max um, to help him from um, slip sliding so much since we have hardwood floors and these laminate floors here in the kitchen. Only one room, well no, our bedroom's carpeted too, but the front room's the only other thing carpeted. So I went out, I used to only have this one rug. I bought this one here and then I bought a bunch of these gray runners. <laughs> Um, to put down on the floor to try to help him so that leg doesn't slip out from under him. So um, we've got one here. I already had these two mats here um, previously. So we've got this one here. And then here in the dining room, I have two leading up to the area rug, which I, I did have out for a while and I took it out in the winter so, the boy, so it wouldn't get all dirty from the boys coming in and out with dirty feet in the winter time. So we brought that back down before this even happened with Max. So we've got runners here on the wood floor, which go done to our area rug here. We've got another runner here. <laughs> um, going this way. This uh, rug we already had. So that goes to our bedroom here, which is carpeted. So once he gets in there, that's carpeted. And then I have this rug here. I couldn't find any more of the long runners oh my battery's about to die in my cameras there we go it's out of focus um have this here so when he comes in here and then he's onto this carpet here um and then we've got a couple more these are two runners two runners here that piece of carpet i already had and then we've got a runner here back to the kitchen here so it's a big circle so i went out i think i spent like Oh, 150 bucks <laughs> on rugs. Um, so Max will hopefully not slip too much anymore since his leg's giving him troubles. But we got to do what we got to do, right, Max? Yes, we do. May not look the prettiest, but we need to keep you safe. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, just wanted to share that to you guys. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.